Hello everyone, this is Mark Pavlos from Enzymatic. Welcome in this week's Technical Tuesday with NXCAM. The series full of practical tips and tricks about programming toolpaths in NX. This episode is an update to one of my old videos that didn't contain a sound. I don't see any option to add voiceover to existing video, so it will be uploaded as new one. Today I will explain how you can use 3D Solid tool assemblies, which are provided by tool vendors, in your NXCAM projects. Before I start, I would like to clarify. This 3D Solid tool assembly is used in NX only in verification of the toolpath and in ISV. All toolpaths are generated basing on parametric tool. Therefore, in this example, I will also create cutting insert as parametric tool. I will start with preparing part files of the tool assembly. You should create these files in the library tool graphics directory, which you can see here. My best practice is to keep each tool in separate folder. Name of this folder is very important, because you must use the same name as library reference during exporting parametric tool to library. We will do it in one of next steps. Now I will create empty part file in the folder which I prepared. Name of this file also must be the same as folder name. I have tool available in step format, so I will import it. My next advice is to align the tool assembly along x-axis of absolute coordinate system. I always move the geometry so the point where the tool is mounted to the spindle is in zero position of ACS. and I move WCS coordinate system to the tooltip point. In this case, I use auxiliary sketch to find this point. As this is currently a single part file, I will create separate components for cutting and non-cutting portion of the tool.
and you can see assembly files here. Notice how I'm adding colors. I do this directly for solid bodies inside the component, instead of changing color of whole component. This way I'm sure that colors will be correctly displayed later. To continue defining the tool, we need to switch to Machine Tool Builder module. Here we add a tool base component. Notice that together with it, two children objects were added. And in these children objects, we should select cutting and non-cutting portion of the tool. In tool base component, two junctions should be specified. One of them defines tool mount position and the other tool tip position. It is very easy if we oriented our part and WCS as I mentioned before. It is very important to choose correct classification of each junction here. Now we can move to our CAM project. As I said before, only parametric cutting tools are used to generate toolpath in an X. That is why I'm creating the insert now. Next step is to export this parametric tool to library. Remember to use our assembly name as library reference. I will delete this tool because it was already exported to library and I will load it directly from library again. We could also use update tool from library in this case. And it's ready. Let's make some toolpaths with it.
using the approach which I demonstrated today, you will have to create some files and directories manually. Also, you will have to switch to Machine Tool Builder module to create tool junctions. Next week, I will describe a more automatic way, which will allow you to do it without leaving an XCAM. All the best and see you in next Technical Tuesday with an XCAM.